in today's episode of Dr. Chess Adventures. It's all about countering the Knight Fork. Check. All right, got a nice little pawn structure there. Going to develop both bishops and the knight. Kinside castle link. We finally castle. White decides to bring in its knight. Plan is going to be to get aggressive. We're going to play knight g4. Threatening white's knight. White has one good move here, and that is knight to the unguarded e6 square. Setting up a fork. And costing us probably the rook. However, we have a very, very strong move as black. If you said queen h4, that's correct. Now we make some mistake in the game of pushing h3. And if you said queen to f2, checkmate. Checkmate, that's correct. However, if, let's say white had played a little bit better defense here, they're still in trouble. Let's say instead they play g3. Okay, we would play queen h3. And from here, there's a number of different ways it can play out. Assuming white still wants the rook, we just avoid recapturing there. Put a queen here. And at this point, you know, if white were to play its rook to block the mate, because we have a mate on f2, obviously. Checkmate. We can capture with the queen. Alternatively, if instead, after moving here, white decides to bring its queen into block, well, checkmate. that's checkmate there. And of course... If white blocks with the queen here, we simply take Check. force white to block, and checkmate. that's checkmate as well. 